We should count ourselves lucky that this place isn't fully up and running right now. That's right. It would have taken us at least twice as long if it was. Hey! Primed and ready! Judging by the light show, I'd say this is it. Yes, this is where all that data from Heimdall ended up. It must have been installed recently. It wasn't here two years ago. Are you ready, Ren? But of course. All set up. I'll need your help for this next part, Kia. You got it! What should I do? According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. Oh, I get it now! You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Exactly. Are these kids even speaking our language? The heck? Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communications. Right. And it seems the Kreuz family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? She's from the RMP. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you, Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Who? Now, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait, I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. I worked closely with the former Third Anguish of Ouroboros, the Faceless. I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the Professor start the Hundred Days War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. Hm. Yes, actually. If you can break the code, then by all means do whatever you wish with the data. Ah, however, before you can do that, you'll need to face the three of us. The three of you? No way. Why, hello there, everyone! Long time no see! Huh? <gasps> Why? What are you doing here, Belle? Oh, 
Oh, don't be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Bell! So you finally come back to Crossbell. But what are you doing with these two? Should you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. <laughs> say what? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case, then what happened in Heimdall? Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? That's one heck of a creepy name. Oh, now I get it. So that's what that weird black wave was. Oh, you could see it even though you lost your powers as a Septarian? My family's little pet project continues to impress. He is not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project. But that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, uh, Kia. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here, too. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, Number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance, you're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh dear me! Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment! Forget about her, Red! Agreed. Right now we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back! Red! Kia! Don't worry! We'll take care of them! <laughs> oh, is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? What the? A combat shell. Though it's different from the kind the professor used. That black rabbit girl had one of those things too. One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former Enforcers, and the SSS. Rosenberg dolls! You made the old man's dolls into your minions? Oh, I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. Huh? That emblem? I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Iron Bloods, you are all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this, no matter what! I trust you'll provide me with some valuable data. Apprehending fugitives! <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining! Falter again! Ah! 
Rest in peace. Now, let us begin. Oh, holy right of Adios. Come forth from the heavens and shine upon us. Certainly impressed. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Oh. Done. Complete. We got it. We've secured an escape route. Let's move. Red, Kia, grab your stuff and start running. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. <laughs> Why, thank you! I wholeheartedly agree. Love you, Allie. We'll see each other again soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. 
I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Ah, oh, pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care, too. Huh. I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from... two weeks ago. Sup, Claire? I'm probably about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but, well, I forgot. Uh, it's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and... Adios. This is what really happened in Heimdall? I can't believe this. They sacrificed a girl to make some sword? And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it. And as a result, the Great Twilight began. And the curse of the end spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate, and all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is. But it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes. I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and Burl's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. 
Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger! Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me, but I guess I get the idea. <laughs> That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> we can definitely do this. We have to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah. Absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class 7's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them, too. Hey, Yuna. Yuna, wake up. <clears throat> huh? Sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? Yes. She was reading cookbooks and looking up recipes well past midnight. Oh... Kurt and Allie? Wait... 
Wait, what's with your uniforms? <laughs> you still dreaming or what? I bet she was having a lovely dream about whoever it is she's planning to cook for. Muse and Ash too? Hold on. How are you here, Ash? Goodness, would you all please simmer down? Class is about to start. You need to snap out of it and focus. Huh? Ada and Fritz? You guys are supposed to be at the main campus. What's going on? Why are you two here? You really are out of it, aren't you? Did you hit your head or something? What? C Crown Prince Cedric? What are you doing here? Are you serious? Maybe you did hit your head after all. I'm here waiting for class to start. We're classmates now, remember? <sighs> did you seriously forget? The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged? His Highness, Ada and Fritz were added to Class 7. But that was two weeks ago. <laughs> They've only been here two weeks, but these scrubs are already acting like they own the place. Watch your mouth. I won't allow you to disrespect His Highness like that. Well, anyway, the fact that we were all at about the same point in the curriculum made things easy. True. The transfer was fairly smooth, all things considered. Huh. <sighs> oh, uh, I guess that rings a bell, now that you mention it. Uh, <laughs> man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Huh? Who are they? Okay. Uh, Class 7. Looks like you're all here, so we're going to start with today's announcements. Sorry, everyone. We still don't have a homeroom teacher for you yet. But the two of us are going to support you as much as we can. So please, give it your all. Thank you, Instructor Mary. You as well, Instructor Makarov. Anyway, today's class schedule. First off, we've got Applied Info Processing. That's right. We don't have a homeroom teacher, huh? Ah, shoot. I need to focus on the lesson. Those days I spent at Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and talented, I could barely keep up. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. And not just when it came to academics. We gave our clubs and our personal lives everything we had, too. For some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling something was missing. A voice that guided us. One that was calm, but carrying way too many burdens. It was a little pushy from time to time, 
but you could feel the kindness behind it. The voice of someone who had gone through a lot, despite not being much older than us. But whose voice could it have been? I couldn't remember. Let's look for Kurt first. Maybe he's in his room. We should check to be sure. It's at the far end of the hall. Oh, that sounds like... Aha! He's in the training room. Swordsmanship is as fluid as ever.
This is the third floor. Okay. Let's have a look around. All these nameplates are blank. Scroll with Eastern writing. Instructor Rain. all of that a dream those strange school days we spent with everyone it seems so wait you had a dream about that too yes i get the feeling we were all in the same dream together altina included i i remember now I was brought to that dark place, the Grawl. I tried to protect everyone, but then Milliam, she... Alamar went berserk. No matter how much we tried to call out to Instructor Reen, we couldn't stop him. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. Chancellor Osborne's words to Instructor Reen are the last thing I remember. But what happened afterward? How did we get here? You're all finally awake! Man, it's about time. <laughs> you had me worried. Mm hmm? Emma! And Randy! I am here as well. Wait, Rosalia? But why? And where are we? Confused, huh? Oh, can't blame you. Don't worry, you're safe here. This is my grandmother's atelier. It's where I grew up. This is your family home? Did they wake up? Sounds like it. <sighs> you're all here. What a relief. I'm glad you're all okay. You really had us worried there. It's nice to finally have a bit of a silver lining after everything that happened. I'd ask if you're all okay, but... <sighs> no one could blame you after all that's happened. I imagine you must be feeling weak and disoriented. You were unconscious for two whole weeks, after all. Two weeks? Anyway, first thing you need to do now is eat. Even soup is fine, just get something in you. Trust me, I'm just as lost as you are, but we can talk later. That's right. Let me go make something for you. Nuh-uh. We're talking now. You need to tell us what the hell happened. And what in the world's an atelier? There's no way we're still in Heimdall, right? Ma, 
Why? For someone who spent the last two weeks dozing, you certainly are pushy. As the Elder, I suppose I should explain. We are currently deep in the heart of a pitch black forest. Welcome to the home of the Hexen Clan. The Hidden Village of Eren. Ah, so the Grawl has come unbound. This whole place is returning to its proper dimension and taking us with it! It's going to cause a distortion! Emma! I'm on it! Is this...? You're teleporting us outside? Yes, this will take you straight to Grandmother. Don't worry, I'll make sure we all get out safely. Okay, we'll leave it to you. Just be careful. Here. Uh, understood. But Instructor Reen... Uh, fine! I'll get him! Celine! No! Instructor! Ugh. We need to get out of here now! Stay close by and keep a firm hold on Altina! Musei? What the heck is that? Grianos? No! Is this Vita's magic? Correct. A transportation talisman imbued with the power of her deceased familiar. She gave it to me in case of emergency. How unfortunate I have to use it so soon. Just who are you? Yuna, Kurt, and Altina, too. I'm afraid it's time for me to say goodbye. Muse! You can't be... The Great Twilight has begun, and I, too, have a role to play. But I will always treasure the memory of these few months we spent together. So please, take care. And just leave Ash to me. Musei! Come back! She's gone, Yuna. This place won't last much longer. We need to get out of here!
Grandmother! There you are. Now we can open the spirit path. Hey, is everyone okay? Huh? Randy! We don't have enough time! I'll use a partition to get the others out! Take care! What a lovely flower bed. With all these flowers blooming, you'd think it was spring. Wait. And these blue lavenders. They're... Erin flowers. Like the ones the Archbishop requested during our field exercises. Guess this must be the local tavern, huh? Seems so. No village is complete without one, I suppose.
Okay.